Hey guys, I'm Muhammad. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the secret behind of having a smooth transition, which is mm, kind of a smooth graph. But yeah, if you want to learn that in Adobe After Effects, just follow me. Let's go. Okay, so we have a cube here, and I want to show you guys how to have a smooth transition with this cube. Okay. So the first thing you gotta do is have to go to your composition setting All right, and then click on advance and then make sure to have this uh, Setting that I have here for the motion blur All right, and then make sure to turn on motion blur Okay, and then t turn it on here too so the, be the best thing to have a, s a smooth transition is to use null object instead of using the rotation and the transition here on your clip it's better to use a null object instead of that for each transition for example like I'm gonna show you guys if I want to have different rotations all at once it's going to look like this when I do it on the clip not as smooth so but so let me delete these keyframes but if you use a null object for each transition it's gonna look different so as you can see I'm for example I'm going to do the transition first one here oh sorry I haven't linked it to the null object all right so I'm gonna do the first transition and then I'm gonna add another null object and then connect this null object to the next null layer all right and now I'm gonna do this transition here and then I'm gonna add another null object and then connect this layer to this one and then I'm gonna have another Y rotation alright now make sure to easy ease all your keyframes you can right click on them and then easy ease them all so the next thing you need to know is the graph so if you want to have a really fast transition the best thing to use is this if your graph doesn't look like mine make sure to change it to a speed graph all right so it's for when you want to have a really fast transition but if you want something smoother it's better to use a middle graph like this so I'm gonna use middle graph for all the transitions middle graph is something like this All right, the next thing to do after using a middle graph is to use adjustments. The best adjustment to cover your transition is blur. So you have to add a new adjustment layer and for the transition that you think needs to be covered, you can use S blur. And then uh, the blur amount must be at 36 and then make it all the way down to zero okay I'm gonna use this adjustment layer for every part that I did a transition okay, so this is the result so that's all so you should add 
uh, null object for their transition instead of using the uh, transform options like this and then you have to use the setting that I said for your motion blur setting and also always add uh, adjustment layers to make sure transition is smoother I personally use blur but you can use glow and stuff like that alright hope it helps you guys and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon again